So what if I told you gum surgery doesn't have to feel like mm, surgery? Hey y'all, I'm Dr. Fatima. I'm your friendly and your favorite board certified periodontist right here in Dallas, Fort Worth. And today I'm gonna break down on that, laser assisted gum surgery. Step by step, how it really works, what recovery actually feels like, and no, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, and who it's actually best for, so you can make a confident decision about your smile. So let's start simple. LANAP stands for Laser Assisted New Attachment Procedure. It's a minimally invasive laser treatment for gum disease. So imagine it like this. It's a tiny hair-like thin fiber which slips between your tooth and your gum tissue. It's kind of like sliding floss through there. That laser that we use actually targets the infected tissue and the harmful bacteria that are actually breaking down your bone, killing your bone even. It leaves healthy gum tissue completely alone. That means less cutting, less bleeding, and often a quicker bounce back, better than old school gum surgery. But here's the best part, and really the magic behind the nap. This laser is only designed to be selective, which means that it only kills the things which are infected in its sight. The energy that's coming from the laser only kills infected tissue, but it leaves the completely healthy tissue alone. But in traditional gum surgery, my scalpel can't tell the difference. It only cuts whatever is in front of it. With LANAP, we only target the diseased areas while we keep the healthy tissue as much as possible. So think of it like this. With traditional surgery, it's like digging up big patches of your grass along with the weeds. Sure, the weeds are gone, but so is a lot of your grass. The LANAP laser is more like a tool that only zaps the stuff that is the weeds, but it leaves the healthy grass completely untouched. The infection is removed, the area is disinfected, and your healthy gum tissue stays right where it belongs. That selective targeting makes LANAP more precise, less traumatic, kinder to your body, so that healing is a lot smoother. So here's what actually happens during a typical LANAP visit. First, we're gonna measure your pockets to see where the infection lives. You remember those numbers, ones, twos, threes, fours, fives, sixes. Well, the deeper the pocket is where the infection lives. First thing we're gonna do is take that tiny fiber and move it between your tooth and your gum tissue to remove the infected tissue that's hiding beneath your gums. Then we're gonna use an ultrasonic cleaner to break up all that tartar that's underneath the gum line. You know that thing that you get when you go for a cleaning that whizzes around and shoots out lots of water. We're trying to get that stuff that you can't get when you're at home. Secondarily, we're gonna go back in with our laser and we're gonna disinfect for the last time, but we're gonna also create a blood clot so that you actually don't need stitches with this procedure. Then we're going to test your bite and we're going to find out if you're hitting hard on one surface or not. If you are, we'll smooth out your bite so that your healing isn't stressed. Compared to traditional flap surgery, LANAP is often a much easier recovery. Traditional gum surgery usually means incisions, stitches, longer downtime, but LANAP uses a very tiny fiber, no big cuts, often no stitches at all. Patients usually report less soreness, less bleeding, and a faster return to normal life. Now don't get me wrong, the goal of both surgeries is the same. We need to shrink the pockets and calm the inflammation down so that you can keep your teeth for a long time. LANAP just gives us a more tissue preserving, patient friendly way to get there. So who's a good candidate? LANAP's designed for gum disease with deep pockets and bleeding, but basically infection that's hiding below the gum line. If you have diabetes or you smoke or you vape, LANAP can be a much safer choice because it's less invasive, the healing can be more predictable, but just a heads up, the health factors can still limit your results, so we'll want to keep a closer eye on you. And if you're on medications that affect your healing, please bring a full list so that we can customize your individual plan. Now, what does recovery really feel like? During the treatment, you'll be numb, so most people feel pressure, but not pain. Afterward, you can expect some soreness for probably a day or two, maybe a little bit of swelling. But most patients tell me that by day two, they're back to work, they're back to their normal routines with just a little bit of tenderness. Now diet wise, you're gonna start with a liquid diet. I mean, obviously. Just for a short stretch though. Then you're gonna move to soft foods. But we'll give you a clear timeline of how that works. Just a few quick do's and don'ts. Skip the heavy workouts for two to three days. Honestly, if I tell you three, I might get two. Don't brush or floss directly on the treated areas until I give you the green light and use your rinses and all of your medications exactly as I prescribed them. But here's the secret sauce. The long-term success isn't just the surgery, it's about you. It's about you following up on your maintenance visits and your consistent home care. LANAP will set the stage, but your daily routine decides how strong the healing lasts. 
So there you have it, the step-by-step -step of Lanap. Why it's different, who it helps most, and what to expect with recovery. Now, if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and if you're wondering if Lanap is right for you, use the link below to schedule a consult with me, Dr. Fatima Robertson, or even just a benefits check with my team. If this video helped, hit subscribe, because next up, does Lanap hurt? I'll walk you through exactly what patients feel during and after the procedure, because your smile deserves better. And let's be real, you deserve to show it off without hiding it. No floss, please. Go back. Okay. Okay. Just a quick do. Okay, go back to this. No, we're good. Okay. Just a few quick do's and don'ts. Just a few quick do's and don'ts.